All right, so we previously finished off with the toolbar plus the coloring options. In this video, we're gonna go through some tips and tricks on how you can get most of the donut and the pie visuals. Now, first thing that I wanted to talk about is gonna be dynamic titles through card visuals. This is something I personally use and a lot of our customers are using to get a better understanding of what exactly is being filtered from this particular visual. Now, the scenario is pretty simple, right? I have a card right here, which by default says all regions, all departments, all titles. And it's being controlled by the donut chart. So for example, if I click on Australia, you can see that that selection is being passed through. Next one is all departments. So I'm gonna go for something like sales. It goes also on the top and I'm gonna choose senior sales. So now at the top, which was the dynamic title, I essentially have a breadcrumb. It allows me to see what exactly and the full path of all the filtered values. Now, in order to create it, it's also something that you can do relatively simple. Now, let's go back to the training view and actually do this from scratch. So we're gonna build an instance of a donut visual. We're gonna resize it a bit. We're gonna move it downward so we have enough room for the title itself. There we go. And now we're gonna remove the background and title since we're not using the built-in titles. There we go. And for the setup, we're gonna do something relatively simple. We're gonna go for department by payout. And the second level is gonna be, let's say region. Yeah, there we go. Now, when you see it by default, there's nothing that references the selected levels. So I just have a visual without any proper dynamic title. So in order to create that title, the first thing I need to do is create a measure. So I'm gonna use a new measure. And within that measure, I'm gonna name it new title. And I'm gonna use selected value. So selected value. And here I'm gonna provide the first level, which was the department or an alternative text. The alternative text is gonna be all departments. There we go. And we close it down. We add some ampersand because what I wanna do is I wanna add a delimiter. Now, make sure that whenever you add text as a delimiter, you also have quotation marks because that identifies this as being a text element. Now, next one is again, selected value. And the second level we were using here was region. Alternative text, it's gonna be all regions. I'm gonna close that. There we go. Now we have our dynamic title. So what I need to do now is just simply add a card visual, which I'm gonna do right here. So a regular card visual, I'm gonna resize it so it's on top of the visual that I had there before. And I'm gonna add in the title that I just created. There you go. So next thing is we don't need the category label for it. So we can completely disable it. And for the data labels, we can just lower the text size. We can even put it something like 15 because you know it's just a sample. Now we can also disable the background so it fits nicer into the theme. And we can actually start to work with the visual. So now when I click on the department marketing, you can see that that is being used as a selection. And if I click on, for example, Australia, you can see that is also being used as a slicer and it filters out the title. So this is just a really quick way on how you can have multiple dimensions being displayed at the same time. So the users know exactly what has been filtered out. Another thing that I would recommend you to use are gonna be drill through pages, which is also a really great option on how you can transition from one page to another whilst applying some additional filters. In order to create it, we can actually see the page right here. So in the sample report, you already have it built in. And what you need to do is apply the filters that are gonna be used for the drill through right here. So in this case, we're gonna be using the department and we're also gonna be using the region since those two filters are used in the previous visual. Now we're gonna go back to the tips and tricks, the training view that we were at right here. We're gonna hover over the marketing, for example. You can see nothing really happens. But if we right click on it, it's gonna call out a context menu and we have an option of drill through. Once I click on it, it allows me to go to that page and apply the filters for marketing because I did the drill through from the first level. So these are just some of the things that would allow you to achieve more whilst using the donut and the pie visual. 
All right, that's going to be it for the tips and tricks. And I hope to see you in the next video, which is going to be the summary of the whole course.